How do you like that score? Yeah. Oh my god! Ha <laughs> ha! His brain looks like bubblegum. Getting badgered, you look a little pale, and talk about a no-brainer. Today, we're back at it, breaking down and reacting to all of the hilarious medical scenes and imaginative injuries from The Simpsons. Let's dive right in. Mm, unexplained bacon. Unexplained smells could be something to be worried about. If you're smelling something that is consistently not there, the question ends up being, is there a brain tumor there or not, AKA cancer? It could be a stroke. People do sleepwalk. You have to be careful with that. Some people are a little bit more apt to doing that than others. <gasps> Good old table. Being jammed into the edge of the table, depending on where you get hit, you can actually injure your groin. My groin! You can actually cause bruising to the lower abdomen and also cause injuries to the internal organs, depending on how hard you hit into the table. Huh? Oh, what's happening? <laughs> We don't really actually see too many fan injuries. You think about fan injuries like the guys on like Jackass, where they're jumping into it. You can actually just cause bruising, maybe a broken bone. Sometimes you can actually lacerate the tissues. Ah! What is ah! happening? Homer, Homer, you're alive. Yep, man one, machine zero. You would think that type of fan, he would get chopped up in pieces versus these superficial abrasions that we see to his arms and face and body. How do you like that score? Oh my god! Ha <laughs> ha! His brain looks like bubblegum! His brain is out so everybody can see. Skull fractures. It wouldn't be necessarily bulging like that. If this does occur, probably want to have some like wet gauze, something sterile wet to cover the area and get that person to the hospital ASAP. We have to disable its central processor! Come on! <laughs> Oh my gosh, the brain is still hanging out. I've seen many injuries and a lot of brain matter. It's grayish white tissue that's super soft and super fragile. It's gone! It's gone! Die, you monster! Yeah, that the, water? the water softener. <laughs> uh, I am missing the back of my head. I think you could cut me some slack. Back of the head. Typically back there, it's visual cortex area. Also it has to do with the balance center of the brain. So you're gonna be off. You're gonna feel like you have vertigo. Things might not be working correctly. You might have inability to do different movement. Television broken? No, there's a badger in there. Badger, my It's probably Millhouse. Millhouse! Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Animal and human bites. If they break the skin, first we need to worry about if there's rabies or not. There's specific animals, raccoons and skunks and foxes. I am the tiger of the Obviously, we always think about dogs and stray cats and things like that, but typically they don't harbor it, especially here in the United States. Oh! 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 A lot of screaming for his injuries. You worry about infection. You have a difficult time trying to clean it out because it's a puncture wound and it's tight tissue. Typically, we'll actually put people on prophylactic antibiotics. It's a badger, all right. Or possibly a griffin. Depending on where the lacerations are, you may or may not end up closing them. It's always taught in medical school and residencies that you do a soft closure, meaning that you do every other stitch versus the normal stitching, because if you stitch it too tight, you can lock in bacteria. You should call a doctor about this. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Oh my gosh, that is freaking hilarious. How did the badger do that without ripping your shirt? What am I, a tailor? Removal of the abdominus erectus muscle. You're missing the omentum, which covers all this, because now we got small intestine, which is down on the bottom, transverse colon, and then what it appears is the stomach just above in the pink area. Then you have your liver and the heart. Super cool, great depiction. <laughs> Mom, Dad, yes, Lisa. What? I've been listening, and Dad stops breathing for as long as five minutes. What? You shouldn't be pausing for five minutes. Five minutes, you would be dead. Typically, people who have obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, you're impeding your own airway for whatever reason, and you're choking yourself, so you're actually not getting good deep sleep rest. <gasps> gave us this machine to help him breathe in his sleep. Nice. Oh, I'll take care of him. Actually, that's so good. Oh, okay. CPAP stands for continuous positive airway pressure. Continued amount of air being pushed at you while you're sleeping through this mask to keep your airway open. No good, no good. Oh, oh, 
Oh my gosh. You need to be trained on how to use these. People definitely feel like they're suffocating when you actually put these on. Marge hasn't gotten good sleep and over a long period of time, it's definitely gonna mess with your energy, your focus. So please make sure you get rest. You know, I try to get seven to eight hours of sleep a night. AOL rules. AOL. America Online. Does anybody know what AOL is who's watching this? AOL was like the original instant messenger. Cool, mom's on drugs. If we turn her in, we can get a form letter from Dick Cheney. She's not on drugs. She couldn't sleep because her dad's chronic snoring. I actually have a supplement that's perfect. It's called Do Not Disturb, and it's actually a sleep aid. Definitely check out my supplement company, Life Happens. I'm taking him to Dr. Hibbert's this afternoon. You know how hard it is to get a doctor on Wednesday morning. <laughs> oh man, that's so messed up. Doctors do enjoy golfing. I guess that is a stereotype, but not bashing in mailboxes. That's quite wrong and illegal. It is quite difficult to get a visit into a primary care doctor ASAP, and that's why the utilization of the urgent care and the emergency departments are high. Whoa, he's got a bucket oh, stuck on his head. Oh my god. Sorry, gosh. Dad, it just won't budge. I tried greasing the bucket with bacon fat, but your father kept eating it. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Not a bad idea. Try to lube up the sides to try to get it slippery so you can get it out. You wouldn't want to cool it down because that would actually constrict. Well, couldn't you try a non-delicious fat? Oh, there's no such thing. <laughs> Hmm. Oh my gosh, an x-ray. So trying to get an x-ray of metal, you aren't going to see anything through that. I sort of have a problem seeing through lead. If it was more plastic, it would look like this. If it was metal, you wouldn't be able to see through. Beneath that bucket, he's more glue than man. We actually see glue injuries often, but the worst ones that we see is when somebody actually uses crazy glue as eyedroppers and their eyes are sealed shut. So he's stuck like this forever? Here in this situation, there's going to be a way to figure out how to get this glued helmet bin off. You could actually fix this. These days, the victims of comedy traumas or trauma days can still lead rich, full lives. Oh my gosh, that's really funny. No, you'd be dead with all those holes. The fact that he's drinking and it's going out through his chest, that means that the water is going mouth, holes in the esophagus and stomach that then leave into the cavity of the abdomen and the thorax. Nope, that wouldn't make any sense. That don't make no sense. The dog bite, you probably have an infection for a very long time and the tissue would fall off. Didn't remove it, which is good, but it needs to seek medical help. Could it be straight through the heart, but not allowing all the blood out, and that's why he's still alive? That's probably very realistic. Sorry, but these guys crack me up. What guys? I want to see the freak. I've never had anybody come to the emergency department with something stuck on their head, but people have objects stuck on different body parts. Usually it's related to the nether regions of different things that could happen. So please do not do that. The Simpsons, always fun, always entertaining, always a laugh, as well as good topics to talk about. Also, big new things on the horizon. Check out my brand new supplement company, Life Happens. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here, binge watch everything. And please remember to subscribe, turn your notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.